All right, we know sweets are about to take over. We all go just maybe a little crazy around Valentine's Day. I know I do, but I am convinced that we can all stay on track and still satisfy our sweet tooth. Thanks to this lady. Cut to it right now. The fab, the talented, the working mama, Kaylin Poolin, oh, Lady oh Boss. Gosh. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you too much, Casey. Listen, I'm diving right in because cookie dough is in this one, or it is like a cookie dough. Go ahead, yes. tell us what we're doing today. Yeah, so one oh. of my favorite treats is cookie dough, and I used to sit and eat a whole tub of it by myself, like on the couch, and I would eat like the whole whole five pound tub and so I had to come up with a healthy way to make cookie dough and yeah. so this is actually an awesome simple That's recipe so it'll take a couple seconds to make it is literally just two tablespoons of peanut butter and then you have two scoops of lean two and scoops. then you have two tablespoons of almond milk and then you just throw in some chocolate chips okay. and you stir it up and bam do you do um, fridge or anything? I mean, it's like yeah. So I like mine cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could eat it straight, just how it is. But I like to like okay. freeze mine for a couple minutes or put it in the fridge yeah. and let it cool off. Okay. And you know, because cookie dough is yeah. the best. It is so cold. good, and that really does give you. It's like the I don't know. It's, I think it's from the peanut butter that taste of like the raw cookie dough. It yeah. really does taste mm -hmm. like that. And then this is a few servings, by the way. Yeah. So don't get too excited. But you would just need you know a little bit of this yeah. to be satisfied. Yes. So that's a great one. And then I have made this brownie <laughs> batter d goodness. This one is a delight. So tell yeah. us more on this so one. So brownie batter overnight oats it's like having dessert for breakfast like literally having brownies for breakfast and that's my kind of deal because mm -hmm. you know when you're gonna like I lost 65 pounds and the way to do it is not by restricting everything and making you feel like you can't have anything anymore right. so I was like how do we make dessert for breakfast so brownie batter overnight oats it's super simple three-fourths of a cup of almond milk and then you're gonna have one cup of over and of easy oats so mm -hmm. just like your quick cooking oats and you're gonna have just a little bit of pure vanilla extract you're gonna have two tablespoons of cocoa mm -hmm. unsweetened cocoa and just a tiny little bit of sea salt and of course a scoop of lean in there to yeah. get all the nutrition in okay but it tastes just like brownies and wow yeah and and her tip you know I saw too. your tip was like you can start eating it that way if you want yeah. or you can put it in the fridge and yes. do it overnight for the morning but yeah, yeah. so good um, sometimes I can't keep myself from just eating it right yeah <laughs> yeah so I know because I feel like if you guys haven't checked out Lady Boss to learn more, I'm kind of going through the, I, not kind of going through the process, I am. I'm yeah. going through the process and what I have found is, you're so right, you jump in for these diets or these fads of these systems and it doesn't work because you jump into everything and what you've done yeah. is so genius, you break it down. I'm giving away the secrets here. Uh, you're you breaking it down where you don't do everything all at once, which mm -hmm. I love. So the first week, don't even worry about the nutrition yeah. or the workout, you kind of do these baby steps, which mm -hmm. is like the key, I think, yes, right? it is, okay. for sure. I, did I say it all? Yeah, I say too no, much? you did. No, that's it. That's the secret. Don't do okay. it all at once. Split it up into time okay. and create the right habits. And that's how you stay successful. Okay. That's how you lose it. And Kaylin has created this empire of these lady bosses. So when we come back, stay right there. She's going to kind of give some good career advice to maybe that high school senior who's like, man, what do I do now? I'm 18. I don't know what to do. She's going to break it down for us when we return. All right, I'm having one more bite of this. <laughs> this is still part of my serving, right? Still yes. okay? <laughs> that's so good. All right, if you are just joining us, I am welcoming back the lady boss, Kaylin Poolin. She created this, I'm calling it an empire, <laughs> even though it's only been around about four years. Yes. But you have so many, you were, you were saying when you're in Dallas, there's so many fans of when you're on an airplane, you know, like, hey, lady boss, right there. Yeah. Like, you've got this huge following. So what advice would you give maybe to a high school senior? I'm 18, I'm graduating. What do I do, Kaylin? I don't know. I'm interested in this. Like, what's maybe some good advice you wish you would have known back then? Uh, for me, especially, <laughs> it's number one, like, find the thing that you're passionate about, because if you're not passionate about something you're not gonna work hard for it okay. and you're gonna be like oh like I don't want to work I don't want to do this and you know honestly like creating a business like we have uh, you're gonna have to fight tooth and nail for it and if you're not passionate about it yeah. you're not gonna do that okay. and you know the other biggest thing for me is you know, most people think like, oh, it's supposed to be easy. Well, it's not going to be easy. You're supposed to struggle yeah. because that's when like, like awesome things happen. Right. That's when awesome things are created. And so when you get that resistance, when you start to fall into like, wow, this is really hard. Like that's when you have to keep pushing okay. through because that's when like that's when the magic happens, sure. right? That's when you create something that other people don't have. Right. And you have to expect it to be hard and you have to be ready to like just push through when it's hard and when it's crazy and when it feels like you're too stressed out like you have to keep going okay. because that's when like the magic happens when was maybe a moment when you were you you created lady boss and you said oh my gosh we actually have something here people are yeah. catching on i know you're very um open about 
posting about your weight loss story mm -hmm. and your with your followers that kept you accountable. Right. But was there a moment when you're like, wow, this is not just going to help me, but I'm creating Lady Boss for so many others that yeah. I was like, this works. Exactly. I remember the moment when we first launched it. Uh, Yolanda, she was our first customer, Aww. right? And so just thinking, wow, like women want this. They need this. Like they need this help. And then the next point was when I started seeing all the transformations of the women. And even though how hard it was to build a business like this, just seeing the transformations and saying, wow, like, these women, like it's actually changing yeah. their lives, right? These women are now getting pregnant. Like they're now like feel super confident in their wedding dress. Like yeah. they're able to lose the 20 pounds that they are wanting to lose. And the best point of all is that they're in a community now with women that are like yeah. them, that love on them and support them. And when you see that happening, like back to the passion mm -hmm. point is, you know, it just pushes you through all the hard stuff okay. because, you know, you see what you're actually doing and you've actually created. Right. And I want to give a shout out to, again, to you because you are a working mama now. Your yeah. little girl is almost, you know, two months old. Yeah. I mean, the time flies, but you're still doing it. Anything now being a working mama that's like advice, you're like, wow, you know, it's, this is a little harder now again, but yeah. if it's worth it, it is hard. You know? It is, it is hard. <laughs> and that's what everyone will make sure to tell yeah. you that it's hard, yeah. but that you can hundred percent do it. And it's just finding like, the right rhythm and the right like cadence for you and your family and okay. and figuring out what that looks like yeah. and then just committing to it gotcha. because a lot of the times everyone else is like oh like you you can't do that like why are you going back to work so soon and all this yeah. stuff and you're just like well because I can and I like yes. to work and yeah. I you can do it if you want to if that's something that you want to do and you know I have the opportunity to be home with her and so we just like have found that rhythm of going right. back and forth I work when I can so instead of Sleeping when she naps. Right. I work when she because naps. Because you enjoy yes, it. Yes, exactly. Okay. Listen, if you guys would like to learn more, uh, ladyboss.com, and there is a new challenge that will be coming up yeah. too that folks can learn about. So go online, ladyboss.com. And again, she's got so many great recipes too about her great shakes. And this is the cookie dough one, brownie oh. batter. So there's more on her website. And you can keep up with her on Instagram too.